Hello everyone, welcome to another video, another celestial tour. So, after 4 months, I'm back. Yay! For the past 4 months, I've been studying and stuff, and I was in my new school in Toronto. Since there are new people who don't know me and are watching my channel just to learn about space, I'm not gonna talk too much about my personal life. So yeah, basically I'm back on YouTube, that's a good thing. The other good thing though, is that today is Christmas. That's why I'm wishing all of you a Merry Christmas. Now, of course, December 25th is Christmas Day. It is a very happy day for people. But for the space fandom, there are two things special about December 25th. Christmas and the one-year anniversary of the James Webb Space Telescope. In this video, I will talk about the remarkable things JWST has done in one year and the future space telescopes that will succeed Webb. Without further ado, let's check all of them out. The James Webb Space Telescope launched on December 25th, 2021 at 7.20 a.m. Eastern Time from the French Guiana with an electric power of 2,000 watts and a weight of approximately 6,200 kilograms. The rocket that sent the telescope to space was the Ariane 5 rocket. By the way, the construction of this machine was finished in 2016 with a total cost of 10 billion US dollars. On January 24th, 2022 at 2 p.m. Eastern Time, about a month after the launch, JWST arrived at the Sun-Earth Lagrange 2 point, the Lagrange point behind the moon. Lagrange points are basically where the gravitational pull of two large masses balances the force of the small object. I've explained this in my previous videos. The reason it is located in the L2 Lagrange point is to prevent the sun's rays from heating it up. Since JWST's electricity is powered by a solar array, it needs sunlight to power up. But again, too much sunlight can cause harm to the telescope. Between February and March 2022, alignment pictures were taken, which aroused excitement among the space fandom. For example, this image of a star with the galaxies behind seeming like dots. I've actually talked about this in one video as an announcement. The most known fact about JWST is its ability to take infrared photos. The alignment photographs were just the beginning of a grand excitement. The real photographs begun in July 2022. On July 11th, 2022, the US President Joe Biden presented the first photograph of the James Webb Space Telescope, a photograph of SMAX 0723, a galaxy cluster located 4.6 billion light years away from us, the constellation of Volans. In the photograph, JWST also took the photo of galaxies that are 13 billion years old. That's the strength of JWST. On the next day, July 12th, 2022, more images were released. That day was when JWST was the hot topic the media was talking about. The images of the Carina Nebula, a star-forming region located 7,500 light years away from us, the Southern Ring Nebula, a planetary nebula formed from a dying star located 2,500 light years away from us, and the Stefan Squinted, a galaxy group comprising five galaxies located 290 million light years away from us, except for the outlier galaxy over here, being 40 million light years away from us, were taken that day. Also, the spectrum of WASP 96b that proved the exoplanet has clouds was also presented to the public. Later on, the infrared image of Jupiter taken in July, another infrared image with more details around Jupiter's surroundings taken in August, the image of the Cartwheel Galaxy located 500 million light years away from us, the image of Messier 74 aka the Phantom Galaxy taken in August, the image of the exoplanet HIP 65426b, the image of the Tarantula Nebula and the infrared image of Neptune taken in September, the image of Wolfreyet 140, Pillars of Creation and Max 0647 JD taken in October, the image of Wolf Lundmark Melot, and thus forming around a protostar in Nebula L1527 taken in November, and the deep field image like Max 0723 taken a few days ago were presented to the public. And here we are today. By the way, please keep in mind that all these colors, these images, aren't technically real since infrared cameras are invisible to the human eye, but scientists try to add color based on the data. Like said, JWST has done remarkable things for astronomy, taking pretty detailed images of the universe in infrared camera, and with all respect, it did better than the previous telescopes, like Hubble. It took Hubble weeks to take the image of SMAX 0723 in UV light, but it only took 12.5 hours for JWST to do that. And look at this magnificent difference. Isn't it crazy? Now yes, people keep comparing the quality of JWST with the previous space telescopes, and the quality of JWST really is far better than the previous ones. 
But of course, this is for the good. It is for science, and better space telescopes eventually will replace AWST's title of being the greatest space telescope so far. We can take a look at the successors of Webb by first checking out the Euclid Space Telescope that will be sent to space in 2023, which is next year. It is made by the European Space Agency and its goal is to understand dark matter and dark energy by measuring the acceleration of the universe. Next up is the Nancy Grace Roman Space Telescope, which will be sent to space in 2027 and will look at the universe with infrared light, just like JWST. The Roman Space Telescope will search for exoplanets using gravitational microlensing, observe the chronology and growth of the universe, measure the effects of dark energy, and check out the role of Einstein's general relativity and curvature of spacetime. Its imaging cameras are 100 times larger than Hubble's. The space telescope was named after NASA's first chief of astronomy, Nancy Grace Roman, who planned the Hubble Space Telescope. Next up we have is HABEX, aka Habitable Exoplanet Observatory. Its goal is to search for Earth-sized habitable exoplanets in the habitable zones of the stars determining the characteristics of terrestrial worlds outside the solar system. The flower-shaped part of the telescope is called the starshade, which blocks direct light. The telescope is proposed to be sent to space in 2035. Another cool space telescope that will succeed JWST is an oversized twin of it called Lavoir, a multi-wavelength space telescope with an attractive French name indeed. This French guy's full name is Large Ultraviolet Optical Infrared Surveyor. Lavoir can look at the universe with three different wavelengths, UV, visible light, and infrared. Lavoir's goal is to look at how galaxies, stars, and planets were formed, and how they evolve. There are two designs made for Lavoir. Lavoir A's mirror is 15.1 meters long in diameter, and Lavoir B's mirror is 8 meters long in diameter. And both are larger than the JWST's mirror, especially Lavoir A's mirror is larger. It is planned to be sent to space in 2039. Of course, these are the ones that are highlighted. There are obviously other cool space telescopes awaited to unfold the universe. In conclusion, let's all wish a happy birthday to Webb, just like we wish everyone a Merry Christmas. JWST has done many remarkable things in one year. It took many pictures of the universe in infrared camera, and many other space telescopes are awaited to be sent to space and replace JWST for the good. And isn't it cool that we are in the generation that will experience all these? Also, one last thing, the Artemis 1 rocket launched last month, which is another thing to talk about in the space fandom, right? Anyways, thank you for watching, and stay astronomical.